this is Wobbly Wallaby, and today I'll be talking about the Sunshine Sweet Baked Coffee Cart Gacha from March 2022. I'll analyze this tale, do damage tests, and let you know if it's worth getting. First, I'll analyze this tale. This month's gacha is quite interesting due to its conditional effects. Its name is also super long, so I'll just call it Coffee Cart. Coffee Cart provides plus 2 to all attributes, physical damage plus 5%, and when refined to 6, it ignores the weapon size penalties. If you can't refine it to 6, it's still a pretty good tale for new players, as there aren't that many good tales out there. Most good tales are gachas. However, some free-to-play replacements are Summer Banana Split, which does good damage against MVPs and minis when refined, or Sea Soul's Tail, if you're using Wind, Earth, Water, or Fire Elemental damage, such as using an Elemental Converter when attacking. As a new player, I'd be happy to get this tail if I was a physical damage in class. Where this tail gets good is if you refine it to 6. The unfortunate thing is refining to 6 can be difficult. I tried to refine to 6 on my free to play account, and the tail broke 3 times. I had to use exquisite repair shards to fix it, and it still didn't get to plus 6. I got these shards from the events, and you can also buy them from the Geffen Cat for 128 blue tickets or 128 BCC. It's quite painful to repair. If you completed the events earlier this year, Maybe you still have your plus 12 headgear voucher, which you can use on this for the guarantee refine level. Once you hit refine 6, you no longer have the weapon penalty against different size targets. Here is the weapon monster size chart from the Traveler's Notes. For example, for axes at the bottom of the chart, you'll do 50% damage to small monsters, 75% damage to medium monsters, and 100% damage to large sized monsters. Refining to 6 means you'd be doing 100% damage to small and medium sized monsters. You can see some weapons have 100% damage against all sizes, such as wands, books, the wind shuriken, pistols, and rifles. Basically, some of these newer classes don't care about weapon penalties, so you don't have to refine it to 6. Most MVPs are large, so the worst ones are daggers and knuckle users since they only deal 50% damage to large monsters. As a result, they definitely benefit a lot from this getcha. In the past, there were a few ways around this penalty. 1. Have a blacksmith in your party who can use the skill Weapon Perfection that will remove all the weapon penalties. Two. Use normal precision stones, which cost about 9,000 zenny, in situations where you deal 75% damage to the target with your weapon. For 15 minutes, you will no longer have the weapon penalty. 3. Use expert precision stones, which cost about 28,000 zenny, in situations where you deal 50% damage to the target with your weapon. For 15 minutes, you will no longer have the weapon penalty. Both descriptions on these stones are confusing, but that's what each of these stones are used for. 4. Get the Drake Star card. Its effect is amazing since it deals with the weapon penalty, adds a lot of attack, and does 30% more damage to large monsters. This is the card I wish I had. And this gacha just feels like a poor man's version of this card. Next, the damage tests. The damage test will differ depending on your character and your target. This is mostly just to show you the difference in these size penalties. For these experiments, I'll be swapping in my Flying Quarterback and the Sunshine Sweet Baked Coffee Cart. Flying Quarterback is the best tail I have for my Novice Guardian. Let's start with a large size dummy. My flying quarterback does 76.9 million per tick. 
Next, I switch the coffee cart from my item bar. Coffee cart does 74.1 million per tick. These results are expected because the quarterback provides more damage on paper when compared to coffee cart against a large monster. If you're not familiar with Novice Guardian, you gain more damage based on your move speed as well, which is why it's better on paper. Next, dummy size is set to medium. Flying quarterback does 41.1 million per tick. Next, I switch to coffee cart from my item bar. Coffee cart does 52.3 million per tick. This difference is expected since the axe does 75% damage versus medium targets. So the penalty correction is very good. Next, the dummy size is small. Flying quarterback does 27.3 million per tick. Next, I switch the coffee cart from my item bar. Coffee cart does 50.8 million per tick. This huge difference is expected since the axe does 50% damage versus small targets. Next, how about normal precision stones? I personally think it's definitely worth the 9000 zenny. Let's begin with a medium sized dummy. I'll be using the flying quarterback with the normal precision stones for the following tests. I do 57.5 million per tick. It is higher when compared to the previous test where the flying quarterback does 41.1 million per tick and the coffee cart does 52.3 million per tick. This is expected since the flying quarterback is superior and the weapon penalty is now removed thanks to the normal precision stone. Next, the dummy is small. I do 40 million per tick. This is more than the 27.3 million without using the stone, but less than the 50.8 million when coffee cart was used. This is expected because the normal precision stone doesn't completely bypass the weapon penalty. You need to eat an extra precision stone instead. Alternatively, I brought my Lightbringer into the party so I can use weapon perfection and not spend 28,000 zenny on the extra precision stone. The damage now goes up to 52.7 million per tick. Next, is it worth it? Let's go through some pros and cons. For pros, first, it's excellent for knuckle and dagger users, especially when facing MVPs, which tend to be large. Two, even without refined six, it's still a decent free to play tail. Three, it's great for farming. If your character has problems against different sized monsters, you definitely don't want to be eating precision stones when farming. Three, it's great if you don't have a blacksmith in your party who can cast Weapon Perfection. Next are cons. First, refining to 6 is a pain, especially for new users who may not be able to repair it if it breaks. I don't like that they added such a huge condition that makes or breaks this gacha. Two, eating a normal precision stone and using other gacha tails will usually outdamage coffee cart. It's definitely hard to replace meta gachas such as Beautiful Ensemble for skill damage users, Fluffy for auto attack users, or Flying Quarterback for a generally good damage and move speed increasing gacha. 3. This is a 1% deposit tail, so it's quite hard to roll for. It really depends on your luck. Personally, since I'm not a dagger or knuckle user, I wouldn't pay to get this tail. I just happened to get this with my blue tickets. The weekly instances I do mostly have bosses as large sized monsters. So it doesn't matter to me since axes do 100% damage to them. But if I happen to be facing medium or small monsters, such as ones that show up in Echo Corridor or Oracle Nightmare, then I don't mind switching to this tail temporarily if I'm feeling cheap. For example, here I am attacking Flute Player and I switch the coffee cart in my item bar if I want to do more damage without consuming anything. What did you think about this Sunshine Sweet Baked Coffee Cart? Did you end up rolling for it? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.